I've been playing a ton of Marauders lately, and I have some stuff to say about it. First of all, this game is definitely in early access. What the f are you- that was weird. It's a skeleton, with broken bones, and you should know that going in. It's full of glitches and bugs, <laughs> both hilarious and game-breaking. I just crashed. That being said, it's a damn good time, and it would take a lot more than this to turn me away. Let's cut to the chase. Marauders is great. It's a highly addictive shooter, and I highly recommend it. It has many shortcomings, which I will get to, but the core gameplay loop is so good that, to me, these drawbacks feel like opportunity for growth, not failure. If the devs can keep it fed and watered, it will fruit. But personally, I've already found plenty of value for my money, and it's been a pleasure to be on board this early in development. So, what exactly is Marauders? Well, the phrase talk of in space is popular for a reason. It's definitely the quickest way to pitch this game, but with one key distinction. Marauders is infinitely more accessible. It's simple, and like this video, it gets right to the point. You've got HP and stamina. Easy. No weird, specific injuries, and no manually reloading your magazines. 9mm guns take 9mm ammo, no question about it. I'll end the Tarkov comparison here, but I'm gonna do it Marauders style, by taking a big idea and reducing it down to its most potent point. Marauders doesn't actively try to keep you from playing it. Unless the servers are down. For 70 years. The core gameplay experience is something like this. Load up on all the usual stuff. Guns, ammo, heals, and armor. Fly to the big place in the middle, and fight your way through a mix of bots and real players for everything inside. Oh, goodness gracious. Fill your pockets, find gear that lets you raid harder, and fly back out. Sell the valuables, obsessively arrange everything else into neat labeled boxes, and hit it again. Bring the blowtorch this time, we're hitting the vault. Oh, oh. oh that's way louder. Oh my god. Yeah, so much oh better. Oh god, that's so fucking cool. I'm addicted to the gear grind. I need help. I don't need 12 shotguns. I brought the shotgun. I'm gonna write that on your tombstone. Yup. But I can't help it. I'm a collector. And if you don't care about loot, you won't like this game as much as I do. But I find it satisfying. Fuck, I need to make a goddamn 4x4 square. Boom, I did it. Oh, fuck yeah. Marauders has you always looking forward to that next game, the start of a snowball. Metal scraps turn to lockpicks, lockpicks to blowtorches, blowtorch into vaults for supply drops and backpacks, tokens for restricted areas, for rare crafting items, oh. for a fucking nuclear launcher. Oh, it's a heavy frigate, dude, it's a heavy frigate. I'm doing it. Oh, it's so slow, no! No! <laughs> We're dead now. We're dead now. It's a slippery slope. However, you won't be at a significant disadvantage from your gear alone, and I still rock the MP40 almost every time I go in, because it's not only possible to score someone's full loadout with a base gun from the shop, but it feels great to do it. Jesus. Want a commando bag, bro? <laughs> I actually really like the balance of the gear. Yeah, better armor is totally OP. There's fucking three in there, But dude. movement and accuracy are more OP. Got him. And the headshot multiplier is ridiculous. Oh. Seriously, always go for headshots. Oh. On that note, gunplay gets the job done. It's not gonna blow your mind, but it works and it's fun. There are 35 guns and no established meta. Ask about favorite weapons and you'll get a ton of different answers. I say, pick one and push people, because getting into a huge team fight is exhilarating. Oh my god, people are already in here. Is that you? Did I just kill you? No, no, I'm good. Oh my god, oh my god, there's so many. And dying early isn't that painful. Oh my god, I'm so dead. Hello there. No, 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 Fuck. It's actually amazing how quickly you'll be back at the menu.
Don't get me wrong, as soon as you fill your backpack, you'll get slapped. And it will hurt. Please get him. My ass. Are you kidding me? Well, Fuck. You'll probably call hacks or blame your gear. I know I did. People take headshots for days and then one shot me like it was nothing. Oh, he wrecked me, dude. Fucking A. But I didn't know how to play the game. I didn't understand it. And in hindsight, it's obvious I was playing like a noob. And that realization tells me that although Marauders is simple, there is a learning curve to it. Here's a few things I learned the hard way. The time to kill is weird. Don't stop shooting. Bring extra ammo and practice your recoil control while you get a feel for things. If you're holding, you're leaning and listening. Your footsteps are way louder than they seem. And if you're moving, you're moving fast. The sensitivity slider is from 2007, so tracking people is hard. The bots can crouch, lean, and use voice lines, Fuck you. but they won't shoot other bots. Gunfire means players. Speaking of other players, matching your outfits makes you less likely to kill each other. Okay. Oh, there's uh, another. That's me, that's me, that's me, that's me. Oh, sorry, me. which one's you? Stop shooting me. Less likely, but not impossible. Oh, that's me! You fucking fool! <laughs> oh. Oh. Stockpile toolkits and fabric. You'll thank me later. But when you start to feel greedy, it's time to go. Here's a red flag. When it takes you longer than 30 seconds to add something to your inventory, you're being greedy. I hope you remember where you parked. Red lights usually mean escape pods. It'll take some time to learn the maps. There are five in-game right now. I prefer the original ones, but I like what they're doing with the new ones. It's way easier to remember where my ship is when the dock is called Library instead of 6F. I appreciate that change. I like the layouts too. You won't need them pulled up on your second monitor, but they're still complex enough for your map knowledge to win you fights. And once you are familiar with them, I'm gonna go back through Pod Bay and flank him. I'm up there. Got him. However, I can already feel myself becoming a little too familiar with them. They get pretty predictable after a while. I'd be more engaged if things changed from run to run, i.e. if the vaults moved around. Vault runs are fun, but they force your hand, and eventually, huge, playable sections of the map just blend into the background. It's decided for you where you're gonna go, and you can't really wander freely the way you want to. Okay, criticisms later. Here's a few more positive notes. The art style is amazing. I could look at these backdrops all day. The game just has a great setting, and I'd love to see them explore it further. Finding a match is simple and pretty quick. When the servers are working, they're working good. My frames are high and the game runs pretty smooth. Technicals aside, the gameplay has so many good moments. Tactical nuke ready for launch. All right, here we go. No, no, no. <laughs> fucking disabled. Bro. Holy shit. Oh. Where? Yeah. Fuck. You died right next to me. I don't know where these guys are. <laughs> you gotta just try to get out, man. They don't know I'm here. Oh. Got him. He's dead. Oh, there's another. There's another. I'm reloading. Fuck me. Is that you? Is that you? No, no, no. Nice. Oh my god. I got my heart pumping a little bit. Also, I really like the devs so far. It seems like they're looking to the community, shouting out the Discord, calling out cheaters on the subreddit. Look at this post. Somebody is like duping. I saw that. Did you look at the devs' response, dude? Two Shoot me your Steam ID and I can help you. <laughs> yes. Oh Isn't my that God. fucking great, dude? So, with all of that high praise out of the way, where does Marauders fall short? And how much should it borrow from its predecessors? Before I get too subjective, here's a hard list of things that detract from the experience. The game crashes frequently, once a session for me. You wanna drop? Oh, this guy had an STG, brother. Oh, shit. I just crashed. No. The settings are bare bones. It's difficult to even fine tune my sensitivity. 
There's no spectating teammates after death, so everyone just streams on Discord, putting you at a disadvantage if you don't. The vertical footsteps are hard to read. You can't hit enter at this prompt. I know it's the smallest thing, but I think about it every time. And the volume on For the- For 70 years we've lived in the shadow- Leave it, I love it. The reload animations are really basic, and range from getting it done to missing entirely. The character models are weird. <laughs> like they don't know how to behave without a gun in their hands. He's got nothing in his hands. It's fucking strange. And when you do get a gun in your hands, you'll chamber around every time you pull it out. Why? The hangar loses your ships. Backpacks can misbehave. And the inventory in general needs a lot of work. My inventory is fucked up, dude. Can, oh, it's not on you anymore. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, uh, that's not good. Yeah. So, okay. Okay. Now where is it? Uh... What the fuck? Oh, it just disappeared. Fuck, dude, what a goddamn mess. It's so glitchy. I'm, I'm left clicking. Um. Sometimes things in your inventory will exist in a super position. I put a nuclear launcher on this interceptor. A huge accomplishment. Drive. Do you have, an, do you have did you make it? <gasps> I did, it's not on here though. I fucking put it on here, dude. What the fuck, I just checked. I thought I misclicked or something, but turns out the game stole it from me and then taunted me with this monstrosity in the next raid. Wait a minute. Oh, it's got a nuclear launcher on it, dude. What the fuck? Oh. And no, it didn't work. Uh, fuck me, there's my goddamn nuclear launcher. Sometimes you'll start a match and- Oh, uh, I have nothing in my inventory, bro. <laughs> Dude, you're flanking. <laughs> Sometimes your iron sights turn into a bowie knife. Sometimes god mode is enabled. What's going on? <laughs> He's what dead. He's dead. What the fuck? I'm not taking any damage, bro. <gasps> what? I died. You need to send that entire round <laughs> to bug report. <laughs> but Marauders isn't necessarily out to get you. It's just chaos. And sometimes it hooks you up and lets you repeatedly scrap every ship you own while the trader sells large containers. What is my box doing in there? Oh. Uh, it's my quest box. Oh, no. Do I try to buy it? Put it right there. Okay. <laughs> How much did that cost me? Okay, I have 64, 964. 948. 12. 14k. Uh, 14. But here's the thing. Loot needs to be stable in a game like this. You need to be able to trust it. If your loot can't handle Marauders for more than four hours, oh. how can you? Wait, my key card's I'm, I'm, gone. I'm oh, Captain. you're the boss. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> it does kind of speak to the state of the game that the normal response is just... Oh fuck it, fucked up. I lost my shit. I should probably mention the bots in this part. Nope. I'm gonna try to blow torch him. Lead me to the depot token. Sometimes they practically beg you to pull the trigger. They'll also lurk in the shadows and go full kamikaze the second you hit tab. Oh fuck. Jesus Christ. And other times they pre-fire corners from 100 Jesus yards or Christ. chunk off your health with a shotgun. Oh, oh god, goddamn, holy shit. Oh, dude. They definitely succeed in keeping you on edge though. And I still mistake them for players. I think it's a bot. Oh, this was a player, bro. I just sniped it. He was running like a bot. Reviewing these clips reminded me of how it feels when you crash. God damn it. When you get fucked, dude. I swear to God. I mean, how could I even forget? Well, because a chance at being in game when everything is clicking just right, it's just and worth then... that risk. Got them both. Nice. Oh. So you hit it again. And no matter how many times it failed me, I kept coming back. I swore off it and got back to it. Minutes later. Yeah, it's that kind of game. 
But as far as longevity goes, Marauders has challenges to overcome. Hold the Navy outpost tower for five minutes. Okay. The quest line gives you something to do, but that's about it. Completing basic fetch quests will buff the shop, and the main zero to hero quest line gives you crafting recipes and cosmetics. I would call it the bare minimum, but the design of certain quests actually removes gameplay, because when you need that one more thing from that one specific map, it leads to raids like this. Fucking not spaceport. <laughs> and even if you do get the map you want, it leads to gameplay like this. That's one minute. Five minutes? What? Oh. Nice job. I wasn't, I was looking at my phone. I looked up, he was looking at me. It feels bad. It'd be way better if I triggered a horde beforehand, like a door alarm and left for dead. Basically, I want the challenges to be in the game, not in the menus. Also, the sound design needs more sauce. Marauders, I'm sorry that you caught me at the end of a two-year hunt showdown binge, but I've been spoiled, and this just isn't enough for me anymore. Listen to this. What? Did you hear that? This is a ricochet sound. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it sounds like a bullet. <laughs> Sometimes footsteps are okay. Listen. Yeah, there's people behind us. And sometimes it literally sounds like there's ghosts running around by me. Where the hell is this happening? Okay, it needs better footsteps, but I want the audio to do even more than that. I want it to tell me about the world and to be a little more immersive. The sounds they do have are actually pretty cool. Even this little ready up alert, I love it. But listen to this. Ah. We're disabled. <clears throat> Downstairs. I'm fucked up. More of this, please. Large first aid, you got we gotta pot out, bro. <clears throat> One last thing. I want a banging menu song. Something that gets stuck in your head and gets you amped to play. You feel me? The gameplay is generally smooth, but the servers aren't exactly stable. At least not yet. It can be difficult to connect to your group or even log in in the first place. And while frustrating as a player, I can only imagine how terrifying and exhilarating it must be for this small eight person studio. I see the population growing every time I search for my homies. This list just keeps getting longer. Wait, what? Small Impact has got a hit on their hands, and I hope they're excited about the crunch to launch, because they've got a lot to do. Starting in space. Space traversal is frankly not compelling. It feels like my drive to work, except in Marauders, I'm texting. Most ships don't even attempt to engage, they're just traffic in the other lane, fellow commuters. Oh, there's a guy right next to us, bro. <laughs> nice. It's a shame that space combat is so rare, because it's a great concept, and it's actually pretty cool when it is happening. Get a fact on target. Got him. Oh, nice. There's another pod. Lower it, lower oh, the front, lower ship. the front. Oh, we're a breach, I think? No, yeah, got him. He missed. Oh my god, nice job, dude. There's so much potential for Sea of Thieves type shenanigans with your friends. However, most of the time your passengers will be AFK, tabbed out on YouTube or grabbing a drink. There's a semblance of roles to fill here, but no one ever needs to repair the ship and the pilot has all the other cards. You can hop on a periscope if you're bored, but he still has the best view. Even if you get on the gun, you're obstructed by this weird third person angle. I wish it looked like this instead. Right now, it's better to just let the pilot handle everything, but it could be a crow's nest in skilled gunners. The devs want space combat to be a large percentage of the game, but realistically, 
Well, let's ask Butters. Sorry, I'm not there. So, what percent of the game do you think that the space combat was for you just now? <laughs> Zero. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Zero percent. And it takes effort on your part to change that. But there's no incentive to change it. There's no reason to bring the Flying Dutchman when a rowboat does the same job, but without the risk. I mean, you won't be exploring the merchant ship if you brought in your heavy frigate. It'd be like running into the store, but leaving your keys in the ignition of your Bentley in an area known for carjacking. What do you mean you don't have insurance? Insurance. Touchy subject in a game like this, I get it. Space pirating should have high stakes, but here's the alternative. No space pirating. Nothing but rust buckets all day long, because it's just not worth it. You'll never be invested in your ship because you'll lose it so easily. It'll take you from point A to point B, but it won't be yours. And I want to pimp my ride. I wish the ship customization was the big grind, the long game a status symbol of your time spent. I wish the hangar was more like a space age chop shop that gave me a reason to do piratey things. Right now, the only reason to upgrade at all is to clear out the server before you go in, which makes for an easier but less interesting raid. And sure, you could be that guy, the guy with the rocket turrets, sucking the fun out of the match while everyone else just groans and resets, but that's not really interesting. And yeah, the rocket turret is OP, but this isn't really a balance issue, it's a gameplay issue. There's plenty of room for cool dogfighting mechanics, but there's no interesting tech yet. I want critical hits, skill shots, and ways to counter them. I want to consider my trade-offs when building my ship. Do I want an extra thruster or a reinforced hull that makes it harder to breach? Okay, I'm dreaming, but it does feel like there are supposed to be two games here, one aerial warfare and one FPS. But the former, it kinda just feels like a loading screen. And it's a bummer, because that would really put Marauders over the edge, just cement it into the conversation. But the real kicker is that the return trip somehow manages to be more anticlimactic than the journey in. Because when you hit the airlock, Marauders slams it into neutral and coasts all the way home. See, this game is at its height when you're sprinting out with a full backpack, but that tension is resolved as soon as you return to the ship because nothing's happening outside. It's kinda awkward. They could roll credits over it and it would be functionally identical. You already had your moment, so what's with the redundant double extract? If the goal is to keep us on edge until the very end, then they're gonna have to fill out this empty space. I'd love to leave the raid and be greeted by the Royal Fleet once in a while and recreate this scene from the trailer. The one time I did get chased to the extract was more fun than every other exit combined. Oh god, no, I'm almost there, please. Oh god, they're blasting the extract, dude. Please, no. God damn, holy shit. Here's the bottom line. Space combat is the main point of distinction for Marauders, and it's gotta be dialed in. There's just so much room to flesh things out here. This is the way I'd like to see this game hit 1.0. I want some propaganda posters on the wall. They've promoted some cool art already. Tell me a pirate story and get me some hidden treasure. These hidden stashes are a good start, but I want to break into the safe room and loot the captain's skeleton for a diesel punk blunderbuss. I want to find the warden's key in the prison. Hell, I want different cell blocks locked down every run with dozens of inmates still behind bars, and I want to unleash them all from the security room. I want to interact with all these little buttons and switches. I want something cool to share, more Easter eggs. By the way, does anyone know what these guys are saying? Those two right there. They say something about in a video game. I guess I just want you to tell me that something else is going on here. That this world goes on without me, but is different with me in it. Because I want to feel my presence here. I want the NPCs to react to me in ways other than just shooting at me. I want to chase down a prison guard when he goes to try to raise the alarm. A stealth element. I think I saw something. 
Something that makes me think before I move. I want an oh shit moment. Make me think on my feet because I don't want to fall into a passive play style. I feel like I should take this time to remind you that I actually love this game and I can't wait to hop back in. It's a good foundation with great potential. I recommend Marauders without hesitation because I'm curious to see how high it flies if we can give it a long runway. But its future is entirely in the hands of its developers and they've got a hopeful and passionate fan base waiting for them to deliver.